the first thing that I'm going to have to do is I need to isolate the term that's got the X in it. So anything with an X on one side, anything that doesn't have an X on the other, like you would normally do with solving any equation. So that means I subtract 11 from both sides. So 10 to the X minus 5 equals 25 minus 11 is hopefully 14. Now we play the game is that we only have the fundamental properties. Take the log of both sides, so that the log of, and this is base 10, of 10 to the x minus 5 equals log base 10 of 14. Again, log base 10 and 10 cancel each other out. So what you're left with is the exponent, x minus 5, equals log base 10, base 10, base 10 of 14. And now add 5 to both sides so that x is 5 plus log, I don't need base 10 anymore, of 14, should know it's base 10. This is where you need to be very, very careful. You notice I don't have parentheses around the 14? So that if I were to write this instead of 14 plus 5, the question you would ask yourself, is the 14 and 5 together or not? <coughs> It could be. I know for sure if I do this that it's not. If I try to put it in my calculator and I don't put it in my calculator in this fashion, it will assume the 5 and the 14 are together. And then you'd be taking the log of 19. <laughs> so that's why so often you see it written with the constant in front of the logarithm so you don't mistake it for being part of the argument. Well, x is approximately, and with my handy dandy little calculator, 6.1461. And of course, if we do something with base 10, we need to be doing something with base e. Now again, here's the term that's got the x in it. That means anybody else needs to be moved out of the way. So 2, it's already gone, e to the x equals subtract 3, 4. Oh, isn't that cute? e to the x equals divide by 2, 2. So they would have me take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of e to the x, because it's base e, equals the natural log of 2. Be careful what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So that, because x and e and natural log are inverses of each other, they take each other out so that x equals the natural log of 2. And, or x is approximately 0.6931. It says, solve each equation, write answers in exact form, and round it to four decimal places. Now the problem's going to be a little bit more complicated. You're going to be using the other guy. So the first thing we want to do, the term with the x <coughs> is this one. That means the 8 gets moved to the other side. Subtract 8, you get 4. 
I can't have anything in front of the natural log, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So the natural log of x minus 2 equals 2 thirds. Now, uh, this is something we do in calculus. And that is, we do something, because this is natural log is basic, we say we E it out. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to have both sides. I'm going to rewrite this as e to the natural log of x minus 2 is equal to e to the 2 thirds. Again, inverse property said these two things basically take each other out. So that x minus 2 equals e to the 2 thirds. or x equals 2 plus e to the 2 thirds. That's your exact answer. x is approximately negative point ah, nope. I'm wrong. I, this, I had a sign here. So, I'm going to pull my handy dandy calculator since I clearly made a mistake in my notes. So, this becomes 2 plus 2. Oh, it's there. Can't see it. 2 <coughs> plus E, which is above natural log, to the 2 divide 3. I'm in math print. If you're not in math print, 2 thirds needs to be in parentheses. So I'll show you that. And it's approximately, it's a positive point, three, <coughs> three point nine four seven seven. Now, if you're not in math print, it depends upon, and a lot of times you're going to find I'm not in math print because it drives me crazy. I just press mode, and I'm going to put it in classic, and that's your typical um, uh, TI-84, your older model. Now, if I want to do that problem, it's 2 plus second E to the, now the parentheses are there. So whenever the exponent is finished, I need to close the parentheses. Because that tells, it says take every, whatever it is in that set of parentheses, that's what gets moved up as the exponent. Picky, picky, picky. Yeah, it is in that instance. And you end up with the same number. That would be particularly true if I wrote the 2 behind it. Because I'd bring the 2 in as the exponent too. Again, here's your term that's got the x in it. That means 10 gets moved to the other side. So the opposite of log of 3x plus 1 equals 8 minus 10, which is negative 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, or you could divide both sides by negative 1, either way. This says that the log of 3x plus 1 equals positive 2. Now, instead of eating it out, because it's what we have available to us, uh, we're going to 10 it out, because it's the inverse. So that says these two things are the same, so they cancel each other out. 3x plus 1 equals 10 squared. Oh, this is going to be so cute. You can tell it's a book problem. 3x plus 1 equals 100. 
3x equals 99, or x is 33.